Hello, I'm Mark from Peachtree Crafting and today I'm going to talk to you about Instagram. This is the first in a series of videos I wanted to put together to help people like me improve and grow on Instagram. I had issues back in the beginning of June where I wasn't growing. I had just under 150 followers, maybe just over 100 followers and I wanted to improve that. So I've decided to put this series of videos together to help other people like me so that they can benefit from all the work that I did back in June. Today we're going to talk about the bio and how to improve your bio and then further down the line we're going to be talking about growth strategies, stories, reels, um, commenting, um, pinning comments. We're going to talk about all the features on Instagram that you can use to help grow your business and some of the things that I have used have helped me. So as I said today we're going to be talking about the bio and Really, the type of bio you have needs to reflect the type of business you have. So there's three types of business accounts. There's a personal account, there's a creator account, and a business account. Um, they're all pretty much the same, just with really slight differences. Um, with the business account, which is the one I use, you can have a shop in there, the analytics are better. Um, there's just a few other features. I'm not familiar with the creator account. So if anybody is and you want to drop me a line, we can add any information that you pass on. Why should you have a good bio? It's a bit like a CV. You're going to engage the people looking at your bio within the first three to five seconds. Um, after that, they may never see your bio again. They may never see your profile again or your account. So you need to try and get them in those three to five seconds. So your bio needs to be concise. It needs to be attractive um, and it needs to be, it needs to tell people who you are, what you're about. Um, and if it's the type of people you're trying to attract, they will see that and they will follow you. If it's not the type of people you're after, I wouldn't worry. There will just be empty followers uh, who have no interaction with your account. And with Instagram, it's about engagement with the account, not just the amount of followers you have. So you need to make it as attractive as possible. So I've been working on this highly technological way to uh, demonstrate to you how to improve your account. And here we go. So at the very top of your bio or your profile will be your username. That's the username you would have picked when you opened your account. Down below it in the circle will be your profile picture. Now this can be a picture of you, it could be your logo, your brand, or something related to what it is that you do. That picture needs to be eye-catching. If it's a photograph of you, it needs to be a professional picture that people will want to look at and well taken. So put in there the best picture that you can. You'll also notice on some people's it will be surrounded by an area of purple. That means they're active on stories. They've got a story that's active right now. And we'll talk about that at a later date. Next we have posts, followers and following. We're just going to talk about posts for now. We'll talk about followers and following at another time. The amount of posts you have will direct the amount of people that click on your profile. If you've only got one or two posts, they're not going to take your account seriously. So what I would do if you've only got a couple is try and increase that number. There's no desired number to attract people, but if it's less than 10, I would increase that as soon as, soon as you can. So increase your posts. Profile name. That bit's a bit more interesting. A lot of people just put their username in there. You don't have to do that. Yes, by all means, put your business name in there, your account name in there, but you've got quite a few characters you can use up and that is searchable. So if you're a woodworker, for example, like me, put woodworking in there. So put your name, woodworker, and anything else that you want to put, put into. So when people do a search in YouTube for a woodworker, or a crafter, or a bodybuilder, or a fitness expert. Following on from that, you've got the area underneath your profile name. This is your opportunity to talk about your business, or your account, or whatever it is that you do. You've got four lines to sell yourself. First couple of lines need to be short, they need to be snappy, need to be captions. Don't make it too long-winded. Remember, you've only got three to five seconds to attract someone's eye. So it needs to be definitely what it is that you're about that needs to be in those first one to three lines. Use emojis, make it interesting, make it fun. The very last line needs to be a call to action. So for example, when you have a business Instagram account, 
your website will be shown under those four lines or a link of some sort. It doesn't necessarily need to be your, your website. So that needs to be a call to action directing people to click below to drive traffic to wherever it is you want people to go, whether it be your website, your Facebook page, your YouTube channel. Something useful I've just discovered is a website called Linktree. Um, it provides you with a link um, and you've got more options there for directing people to different areas of your business. So it can, it can be your um, YouTube channel, uh, your website, your Facebook page. So they click on that and it gives them options of where they want to go. Having your location is also a fantastic idea. If people are searching for a business within their local area, if your location is there, you will show up in their searches for that. So in, I'm, I'm in Lancashire, for example. So if someone's looking for a woodworker in Lancashire um, through Instagram, they'll find me that way. Below that, you will have the highlights. These are your story highlights. And as I said earlier, we'll talk about stories at a later date. But these are four icons which will show on your profile that talk about your stories and people can click on those and see any stories that you've decided to highlight. And you can make those highlights anything you want them to be four categories even more categories should, should you need it and below that will be all of your pictures that you've posted more often than not we only see the last three to six pictures that you've posted um, but they will show up right there so to sum up take a look at other people's bios profiles especially the ones with high follower numbers if you can See what they do, see what they do differently. There's nothing wrong with taking inspiration from other people and how they do things. That's what I've done. I've looked at other accounts. I've tried to emulate what they do. It's gonna be some time before I'm at that level. And it's gonna be some time before you're at that level, but you start as soon as you can. Get your bio right, get the profiles right, and then you'll start to grow. You've got three to five seconds for people to look at your account and decide whether they want to follow you. Use those three to five seconds to your best advantage and get your bio and your profile looking great. I've got no training in marketing. I've got no qualifications in marketing. Everything I've just told you is what I've picked up from other people, from YouTube. I did a uh, couple of Skillshare courses. Skillshare is great if you want to learn new things. They do two months free. Um, this isn't sponsored by the way. Um, after the two months, you cancel it. I got as many courses as I could into those two months. And I think I learned loads from doing that. And I learned just as much from following people on YouTube and seeing what they do. Um, so try some new things. If you don't like it after a week, don't like it after a month, change it, you can do that. Do what's best for you. And I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions as what you'd like to see next on how to grow your channel, please drop me a DM or again in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope this was useful and see you soon. Cheers.